Praise the Lord. Just got uh, done with a mighty victory down at the Seahawks Stadium down there and came over to Love Feast at uh, Grandma Carol's, a.k.a. Regal Eagle. And uh, thanks to God for the wonderful work that she's put in. You know, we're going to do a little, some more personal things today. You know, we see a lot of preaching on these videos and, and felt led to really encourage the saints, encourage those who are born again that are watching this. Brother Vladimir will post uh, another video here that we can make here today to, to, to equip you and encourage you. And some of the people that are behind the scenes that are involved in this ministry, Gospel Invasion Ministries, praying uh, fervently for the work, like Grandma Carol and, and Paul is here at the house, and it's a place where we get to meet and spend time in the Word and fellowship. Um, and so uh, what a great work it's been here in Washington the last probably almost five years. And so God's done a great work up here and bringing us all together uh, to do this work in, in major outreaches. But to sim you know, simplify, simplify it, we want to talk about what's going on at the high schools, at the college campuses, which we don't get, we, we record a very small percentage of what actually goes on. And so on these campuses, uh, Dylan, Brother Dylan in the red here, uh, attends a co local college, and uh, Brother uh, John Christian attends a local high school. And they're ministering every day on their high school campus. And so we're going to share, have them share a little bit about what's going on and encourage you. And Brother Michael, we know the testimony there. Brother Michael is here. Uh, he met Johnny uh, here at Cascade High School preaching the gospel when he got suspended. And uh, the Lord had uh, opened the door for a federal lawsuit and won the lawsuit uh, nationwide so students could preach on campus without being hindered and hand out literature. Uh, so what a blessing that was. And, and John was a part of that work as he saw Michael preaching. He was encouraged and was born again of the Holy Spirit uh, and baptized biblically a little over a year and a half ago or so, and uh, he's been faithful coming to many events and preaching the gospel and attending a local church here as well. So uh, that being said, I know Michael wanted to share something uh, with you uh, as far as uh, ministering where you're at. Yeah, well, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. God bless you, uh, as you know, Brother Mike. Uh, yeah, I just want to encourage the body of Christ, all the fellow believers, young and old, rich and poor, uh, wherever God has you, uh, you know, just to be faithful there. And, uh, you know, Romans chapter 10, verse 14 says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not heard, believed? And how shall they believe in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Hallelujah. So wherever you are yes. in the Amen. world, Amen. in this country, USA, Latino America, doesn't matter where you are, Russia, Ukraine, uh, Eastern we'll Europe, we'll anywhere, 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 anywhere in the, in the world, <clears throat> wherever God has you, <clears throat> God has you there and he's put you there for a purpose and for his reason, for his own glory. And... You know, it is our job as Christians to share the faith, to preach the gospel in season, out of season. The Bible says, you know, it's good news. It's the best news in the whole world. Praise and if God. you're born again of the Holy Spirit and, and God has regenerated you and has, and has saved you from your sins, he, you have the honor and the privilege Praise God. to proclaim the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ wherever you are. And so I just want to encourage you. You know, wherever you are, doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter how young you are, uh, if you have Christ and you know the gospel, you know, it's very simple. Christ came to redeem us from our sin. And he died on the cross, he rose again on the third day. Uh, you can only be justified by faith. Only by faith can a sinner be declared righteous and be made right with God. Uh, the gospel, the, the word of God, is so easy. Children can understand, and yet so complex that theologians are blown away. So, um, wherever you are, be faithful to the word of God. Be, stay faithful. Stay strong in the Lord and the power is might. You know, be girded up with the full armor of God every day. And, you know, God will be glorified. God will receive all the honor, all the glory. You know, no glory to me. No glory to these fine gentlemen here today. No glory to any of us. We're all on the same team. And Christ is the, the master. The Lord Christ be is the prize. He, it's all about Him. Hallelujah. No glory to us whatsoever. We're nothing but sinners. He must increase, we must decrease. Saved by the grace of God. That's right. It's just like Brother Ron said, we're, you know, we must decrease and Christ Jesus must increase. So wherever you are, yeah. I just want to encourage you, you know, uh, comment down below where you're from or 
you know, what you're doing for the cause of the Lord. We want to interact with you. We want to know more about you, you know. Uh, we want to encourage you, and we want to also be encouraged by, you know, what God is doing through you. So, yeah, please go ahead and email us. That'll be in the description as well. And, yeah, these brothers are uh, going to share what they're going through at their high school, their college campuses. If you're, if you're young, you're in high school, middle school, college campus, elementary school, wherever you are. Praise God. It doesn't God. matter. If, you, you, if you're saved by the grace of God, God yeah. has set you in that specific spot to share the gospel with those people. Because that's the only thing that matters. That's the only thing. In the end, it's, that's the only thing that's going to matter. That's the only thing. That's right. So be faithful where you are. Just going to encourage so you. So what's that Praise look like God. practically, you know, on the camp? We know we saw on the on the high school campus, we preach outside of high schools, right? I, You know, when uh, Grandma and I, um, I call her Grandma, she's got, you know, faith like a child and, uh, you know, does not... Uh, act like a grandma in any way. She's been out in Vegas uh, years ago at nights for two, three weeks straight by the grace of God, holding signs, handing out literature and as a soldier in that weather. And um, at 79 years young now, just continuing uh, in the grace of God, uh, moved back to Washington uh, to, to, to labor here. So um, back at the high school we started, that's where we met Michael. It was Grandma and I and, and Sister Alice. Right. And we had been proclaiming the gospel, and Michael was there, and at the time was a false convert. And many, many of you know the testimony at a different church, and started coming out and ministering with the ministry here before we started recording any of these things. Um, you know, and eventually he realized he wasn't converted, and, and then the Lord just moved in his heart mightily and uh, equipped him to preach the gospel on campus. And so, uh, Johnny's a byproduct of that. These are, these, are, these are real testimonies, friend, real people, real life, just from. The fullness of the message preached. So you think, well, why would you go preach at high school? You know, why would you preach at the high school? Uh, why would you do this? You get all these questions. This isn't loving. This isn't the way to do it. Uh, you know, this is too much. You got signs. You're screaming at people. Teachers enraged, calling the police. How many times have you seen it? That's right. How many times have you seen it? Yes. Many times. Countless. Well, look at the result now, okay? Uh, we don't see all the fruit, but God actually let us see tangible fruit. And so through Michael, God using him on his campus, Johnny saw the fire and uh, the Lord moved in him. And he uh, was at Cascade as a freshman, uh, was there for that year with Michael. God sent him down to another school in Federal Way, which is about 40 miles south. He was there for a year, preaching on that campus, getting out tracks, preaching at lunchtime, open air, uh, and also after school. And now the Lord has brought him back to Cascade in the beginning of the year. He preached there. For the first quarter, it's now going into the second quarter, almost you know half the years over the school year, and God has uh, got the word out there in power. Uh, he's been persecuted again by the principal, same you know people involved that nothing major, but they still give him a hard time and trying to move him to certain places, even after the lawsuit was won. And now he's at God has just moved him to another high school north of there, not because he got anything any problem at that school, but because. Uh, the Lord has moved in with another family mem member, another guardian that lives north, so he had to be transferred to a different school in the sovereign power of a God to get the word out there in a new mission field. So that's what it looks like. These are mission fields. Uh, some of you guys homeschool kids. We want to homeschool kids if you've got a biblical foundation. But if you're going to homeschool kids, get them out of the high school, the middle, middle school age, and put them in a public school to preach the gospel. That's why they're sent. Get them back into a public school so they can get the word out. Let's not shelter them too much. Let's think about that. Pray about that. Because look what's going on here. John, you know, John in, 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 a, in, in a home where the, the family really isn't following the Lord. His, my parents are back in Africa. His uh, older sister and brother watch him here. And him being converted has opened up huge doors to preach at these schools. So seeing that, what's been going on now? I just want to, you know, kind of give the break. So what, what, how, what have you been experiencing now with the kids, with the society, everything? Just everything. Just share your heart. Well, the things, first of all, is that experience. You know, I've been seeing basically my three years of high school. I preach at, first of all... Junior year now, that's right. Yeah, now I'm a junior, and so... I preached at Tabima High School, which is in Federal Way. And so I moved back to Cascade High. And so I started preaching, you know, for the first quarter, like uh, Brother Ronnie said. So afterwards, God moved me from Cascade High to Everett Oh, okay, hallelujah. And so, you know, uh, but I'm preaching. And so, you know, the principals are giving me hard times. Just, you know, 
calling me in the office like eight, seven times, uh, telling me, you know, you can't do it here, you gotta preach here, you gotta preach there, you gotta be standing there, you know, some kids don't wanna hear about, you know, your God and all this. So they don't really care about God, you know, when the generation, the evil generation, what to call good evil and evil good. And so people are lost right now, you know. And so it's our job as young saved uh, people to That's right. Christ and proclaim Christ crucified because we are the ones in, a, in the next generation to come who are going to preach, you know, to the young people if there's the next generation, Lord willing. And so, you know, we got to stand up. It's either now or never. Let's do it with, while we still have our fir first commandment, which is freedom of speech. And so we got to use that freedom of speech and go out there, proclaim Christ crucified, that he was, he came and died on the cross and through him, may be made but with God. You got to have that boldness. I pray for you guys, you know, to just get out there, pass out tracks, teach someone, don't let a day go by without telling someone about Christ. Yeah, hallelujah. That person might get saved. Don't fear. That person might be the elected one Amen. by Amen. God. Hallelujah. Brother, I just want to say something real fast. How old are you again? 16. 16 years old by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Start, I started Don't, yeah, what's yeah. the scripture? Let, let, it says, let, let them not, not despise, despise your youth. Despise your youth, that's right. It's in First Timothy. Yeah. Let no one despise your youth, but be an example unto all right. believers. So, you're not too yes. young to share no, the gospel. How young was Jeremiah? You're not that's right. too old to share the gospel either. Tell him, Johnny, about being called in and asking how you decide who you're going to talk to. I thought that was an interesting story when you were called into the office. Well, I mostly got called in in the office at Cascade High. That's when I got ca called in so many times, multiple times, should I say. And so they called me in and uh, telling me, just like I said, about you know where to preach and all this they were changing the rules and making up their own rules you know that you gotta be uh standing by the pair to preach this you can't be somewhere else but you know the court said you know as long as it's freedom of speech and i'm not doing it during the classroom i'm not breaking the laws and so you know but they just gave me hard times and they started calling in my you know guardians and just telling them you know to come f for a meeting and to talk to them about right. the rules and all that so it's just uh but i got the boldness i just trust in obeying christ and i just keep on preaching and pushing forward let us you know focus on the cross that's before us and the world is behind us anyone who desires to live godly in christ jesus will suffer persecution and we get a minimal, uh, a minimal amount of that here in America. A lot of people are suffering all over the world yeah, at greater right. capacity. People, that's you know, right. continue to. I mean, right. right now, if you're living your best life, you're headed t towards hell. You're that's right. Come to Christ. So if you're in Christ, you're, you're going to be hated by the world. Amen. If the world has hated Christ. He you're not trying to make this message appealing to the people. You're telling them the truth about God, yeah. about the fall of man, the depravity of man, the basing man, showing man their desperate need of how great God is, his love in Christ, to magnify that sacrifice. Because if they don't see that, if they don't see that need, they're okay and they're so comfortable. These kids are having a great time smoking marijuana, aren't they? They're having a great time cursing. Yeah, yeah. I see, like you said, that I see it in the bathroom, boys' bathroom, you know, during lunch. They go and just, but when I walk in, it was one time, and so I walked in, as I walked in, they were just smoking and all of that. And I just walked Love. in, and I, I preached them Christ, and they just went out. They just ran out. Praise the Lord. Them. And so they were just, uh, you know, uh, you may think, you know, we're, we're in the generation where people are lost. You know, they're lost. They have forgotten God. And so without Christ, they're dead in their sins. Just, they're, they're not getting taught yeah. this at home. The parents don't know yeah, the Lord. Yeah, the parents are also dead, too, in their sins. So yeah, that's the thing. How well, there's they, a product. There's a result. They, we understand. We get, yeah, how can you teach them uh, discipline if they don't even know Christ? You know? And we have compassion yeah. for them, but see, it's, it's, a, it's a stern warning now. It's a stern warning time to really, this youth is really getting more rebellious. You see that you don't have very many friends. I don't even know if you have any friends besides us, right? I mean, or, well, <laughs> no, I mean like, I'm just saying, okay. uh, I'm just, yeah, no, no, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, hallelujah. Oh, Glory oh, to God. Oh, Amen. Oh, hey. Yeah. Wait, hey. We got brothers. We got brothers, we got brothers, oh, brothers in Christ. Praise the Lord. Your, your, your worldly friends are going to leave you, but they're, they're yes. never truly yes. friends in the first place. Yes. And God's going to give yes. you family in Christ. Yeah, brothers, this is family. Brothers and sisters. Every that are one in Christ. Christ. That love you, that, that will pray for you. That's what yeah. you get. 
in Christ. It's just the unity yep. we got the bit, yeah. by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. Praise so, Lord. Yeah, Praise God, yeah. I mean, all we have is... So you're not concerned about making friends and then talking to them and saying, you know, what's, let me make your friend first and then tell you about God. Yes. We're just boldly declaring yeah. Christ. And although there are those relationships available, you're able to, some are more of an intimate conversation at times, but the main focus is getting the word out and let God raise him from the dead, make him a new creature. Then they're going to be your friend. Yeah. Right? Then you have a real friend because you have a brother or a sister that's eternal. That's, right. that's, right. that's our real family. That's right. Because we can try to make friends with people, try to sh friendship evangelism is not biblical. This worldly BFF, that, that's not even legitimate. This is real. Yeah, it's BFF. garbage. Best friends forever in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And sisters. That's right. Because that spirit, it doesn't, yeah, that's why, they, what, what a unique thing. Look at the difference in culture. Yeah. I mean, brother, look at these two guys. Slavic background, Latino background. That's right. American background. Uh, Vladimir and Alex are here. We're all united in But they're not in the school anymore. They're just getting persecuted at the football games and the baseball games and the concerts. And but God's doing a great work with them. And you, you want to share some, Alex? Okay, I I'm very happy for working in this ministry, and this is dream in all my life. Praise what I have. Uh, <clears throat> this is why I come. I pray, and uh, after three weeks, my brother in Christ, Vladimir, mm -hmm. call, call yes, yes, yes. me. For this work, this I'm, I'm sure Jesus called Jesus. me and used Vladimir for this. I'm very happy to work here, and uh, I'm very happy in the uh, Christian family. Everybody's brother and sister for me. God bless you. If you think you don't have anything for doing, you can't do anything, you can't do this job, I'm sure. God bless you. Hallelujah. And come and do this job. Yeah, doesn't yeah, matter yeah. what age. Is you uh, school, high school, or or uh, adult, adult people, brother or sister? You can come and doing this job. This job doing everybody doesn't matter sick or not. If you stay on your leg, you can doing this job. God bless you. Praise God. Yeah, Alex, keep him in prayer as well. He's uh, has a uh, infection in his tooth. He needs to. Um, Get some medical condition there, and God's helping him. So just keep him in prayer. Uh, a lot of these brothers are going through different things, and just like anybody else, and we need to uh, remember to pray for one another. And so we thank you for your prayers and your continual support in that prayer. For those of you that um, we don't get to meet personally, um, you know, we don't get to talk to you very much. It's a real blessing to us um, to hear about different things, and, and we're thankful that the brothers able to post this stuff on, on uh, some of these videos on the YouTube there. Um, and so we'll get more good theological content to you as God wills. So Dylan's over at the college yes. uh, there, and uh, praise the Lord, praise Brother Dylan. Met at a local church, Grace Bible, up in Marysville, and uh, you know, want to encourage believers to get in a local church too, under under the authority of a pastor and the teaching of the Word of God wherever they are, uh, and even visiting different towns is very important. Uh, we're not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together as a manner of some. Even though this is an evangelistic ministry to get out, and many go to different local churches, we want to come together and advance the kingdom of God. That's the mandate for every biblical Christian. Uh, but to be in a local church, not to be isolated, not to be going our own way, we're on biblical theology. We're a biblical reformed ministry here uh, that uh, is desire to, to exalt Christ. And in doing that, we must uh, you know, preach the full counsel of God. And so Dylan's been doing that. Uh, not only the games you see him at, some of the videos he's in, and uh, but also uh, daily, you know, at the home and at the high school, I mean, at the um, at the college he attends. And so how's that been working out with literature? Just share some things that have been on your heart and what you've been seeing there. God bless saints. Um, so God in his perfect sovereignty moved me, established me at this college. I mean, I was trying to get into another college, but God just completely closed the door there. I mean, just in his perfect sovereignty. So he had, he had me move to this college in his perfect sovereignty and set up. And uh, so I've been going to college for about one year and in God's perfect sovereignty, just been passing out tracts on the campus, leaving them around. I mean, you know, just leaving them in the restrooms, leaving, leaving them on the tables and, you know, uh, just passing out the tracks and, you know, just cry out the word. So uh, by the grace of God, you know, we really just, we need to get out there, you know, the college campuses and the high schools and at these different events, just get out and start preaching the gospel. I mean, 
you know, by the grace of God, just get out and start preaching, you know, um, just to get out there and just pass out gospel tracts and just, yeah. you know, I mean, you just pass out yeah. gospel tracts and just preach the yes. gospel. Just cry. Yes. You don't need an anchor. Yes. You don't need any kind of uh, sound amplifying device. Just use your voice. Just cry out the gospel. We're, we're preaching. We're going to preach true biblical gospel, not a greasy grace gospel, which most people have heard that God is just love, that he can't send somebody to hell. That's a false, that's false doctrine. That's not biblical. God's a holy God. He's, that's right. a, he's a holy God. He hates sin. And he commands all men everywhere to repent and believe the gospel. So we need to get out and preach true biblical gospel on these campuses. And how are they responding? We, we've seen it at, uh, down there at the college. We see that they with the, um, uh, you know, the homosexual movement oh, and yeah. the that liberal movement really making their own signs and, you know, just going nuts about an hour. And it was we're open air preaching. And you're out there handing out tracks. Um, you know, how's that been going there? What, what do you think? What, what are they, how, how have they been? So you have the aftermath. Let's talk about the aftermath when we come on, because you're out there by yourself, and we come on and preach the word, and then leave. You're hearing all the response and what they want to do, right? Trying to sign a petition. Just share a little bit about that. So, so yeah, I mean, you know, when we get on campus, you know, uh, by the grace of God, he's opened up the door for us to be on campus. You know, it's a ministry of just go preach the gospel. So the aftermath of that. So yeah, I just heard a lot of different things. You know, people trying to sign petitions to get this ministry off the campus. You know, we got the the gay club on the campus trying to wow. sign a. A petition to get us removed off of the campus and, and stop that biblical preaching from going out. This is God before us, who can be against us? Praise the Lord. So that's kind of like the aftermath. You know, these, these spirits are really showing themselves because this is true biblical gospel going forth. I mean, we see that real, that real spirit starting to arise on the campus when true biblical gospel is being preached. We see that spirit starting to rise that, that grief. Oh, grace the spirit of Antichrist. That's right. God's just love. Free, free hugs. This is un, that's unbiblical. It's emotionalism. It's humanism. It's emotionalism. That's right. Absolutely. So that's that's uh, when, uh, when we're on the campus preaching, we see a spirit strain and rising. I mean, we've been there a few times, and you know, been preaching out and just open air preaching, and uh, you know, that spirit was really subdued. But as time's going on, and as more it's getting more rebellious, isn't it? It's getting more hardened because they're hardening their hearts, and God's hardening their heart as a result of it. God's giving them over to this mindset. And, uh, you know, this is just, uh, this is a real wicked mindset, but, you know, it's, it's getting really hardened on the campuses. And it's the more we preach, the more, you know, they hear that true biblical gospel, they refuse to repent, they refuse to turn from their wicked ways. That The more that spirit continues to harden, and the more that spirit just continues to just rebel. You know, when we come on campus and we just start preaching, this uh, spirit just to rise. Hey, what would you do, encourage, again, uh, any college student or high school it's in a public forum like this yeah. that, that god's opened a door like he did for you yeah. what's the main agenda what's the main focus preach christ crucified says i desire to know that but jesus christ crucified and how about the homework there i mean like the homework and the things that are going like you know all that uh you, you got to get that done and take yeah. care of that for the glory of god yeah mm -hmm. that's right you know but above all we're here on campus to preach the gospel that's, that's right we're on campus to preach the gospel of jesus christ and seek ye first the kingdom of god and all these other things will be praise added. the lord we're on amen these campuses we're in these schools above all to preach the gospel you're not focused on really trying to get some major degree at this point or trying to do any of that. You're at this point, you're just getting their general things done. But yeah. you, know, you know God's going to provide for you. But we've yeah, talked about that. But as far as you, uh, you know, the desire is not to try to get highly educated in the world system. Yeah. Because we know how the, the time is short. Yeah, time is short. God's yes. put that in your heart. Yeah, and, and, and we've got to get the, the gospel we get out. The gospel. We got to get, get the, the word time. out. Let God take care of the outcome. That's. that's right. But people got to get the the word must go out. God will take care of the outcome. Right. Let's stop being man centered and be right. God centered. It is right. the end of all things is the glory of God. The chief end of man is to glorify God and to That's enjoy right. Him forever. That's so right. the means to the end is the gospel, the Christ, and then they have Him reconciliation. So what a huge opportunity. Yeah, praise God. We just pray that a lot of college students, the, 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 the youth that's going to watch this, that, that, that have watched this you know, YouTube channel, we got people from, uh, you've heard, um, uh, people from different states that are in high school. We've actually showed up at their high school and they watched this, uh, you know, this Wake Up America channel and they and they, they said, well, this guy showed up at my high school and I never contacted him. It's a supernatural grace of God where he sent us to a different state and then they've seen this before. Uh, just like many making the signs throughout the world, the same signs, you know, uh, Brother Jason, Korea, and others. It's huge to see that. And, and, and so that's why I know the hand of God's upon that. I'm thankful to get this out uh, to encourage others. I'm not the greatest interview guy. I'm not a camera guy either, but, you know, the Lord's working that out. <laughs> I mean, it's the last thing, I, you know. 
So I didn't like having a camera for years. I mean, Eagle knows that. We don't want to exalt. We just don't want any vainglory. Any that's, that's our. We don't want vainglory. We're you know, uh, the purpose of these videos we're and not for better any, than anyone. That's and for right. anybody that's doing that's only by the grace of amen. God, we are what we are. You're for anybody saying. doing these YouTube videos and stuff, it could be a real distraction. Uh, it can be, and so we need. We want to encourage you. Not just to get a, to, to record stuff to get videos up there. The folk get the word out. In some venues, you don't record. Some you do if you have an opportunity. Uh, and this is really for the edification of the body. So for spiritual growth, to equip the saints for the work of ministry. It's a main. Per it's got to be mainly in our hearts. So guard our hearts, oh God. Ask God to guard our hearts from seeking anything else because uh, we're nothing. It's all about Jesus. And if that if we miss that, then this is just uh, vanity. Uh, do you have any uh, thing you want to share, Regal, about uh, just everything that's gone on? I mean, I'm sure we could be yes, here for yes. days. Yes, well, heard these beautiful young men uh, sharing what's on their heart. Let me just talk a minute to the young gals out there, to the moms, to the grandmas. God has a special heart in this ministry for you. Uh, I have been so overly blessed to be out on the street, no matter where, in front of the White House. I mean, I never dreamed things like that would happen. God, in his uh, oh, mercy, would allow me to do all that. But in this last year, why God has me here, and this uh, is a blessing to have the ministry be able to come here for meals and for prayer. But I just want to encourage each of you gals, no matter where you go, oh, the grocery store, to school, uh, shopping in the mall, uh, there are so many places that we as gals find ourselves in. It is always an opportunity to witness for Jesus. Uh, there's always going to be a checkout clerk or a waitress at a restaurant. And you've got your tracks with you and if you don't have the tracks be sure and let us know so we can get you some and you give them a track and you say whatever God leads you to what he's led me to say is life is so short and we know death is certain but eternity never ever ends do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior because he is the only way to heaven it doesn't have to be long, but you give them a trap and you share just a few words with them. And then when you go back again, which I have found at the grocery store, why that clerk will say, oh, I remember you. And so praise God. We just, you know, God's going to call out those that he has chosen when they hear and read the word. So I'm just blessed to be here with my daughter who lives with me. And uh, <laughs> praise God. Yes. Praise Lord. I've been with uh, Brother Ronnie preaching now for, oh, about three years. But before like that, years. even, we knew and we're out together, but uh, quite a bit in the last three years. And what a blessing that has been. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise God. Well, brethren, uh, yeah, in closing, uh, you continue to send us prayer requests. Email again, gospelinvasionministries at gmail.com. Uh, and so we want to, every time throughout the nation, God's bringing, we got a great um, Russian Ukrainian community up here. Uh, a lot of international students uh, coming to Washington, thousands at different community colleges. We have Chinese literature. Uh, Carol's daughter, Paula, speaks fluent Chinese, so keep her in prayer. She's uh, in the process of recovery to get back out. Uh, to get the word out there and be able to translate in Chinese. Uh, praying about going overseas in due time to proclaim the glory of God in Korea with other brothers there. Um, and obviously all that's going on here in America. We've got brothers down in L.A., Tatsuo, Brother uh, Fred, and many others that are serving God faithfully there that are part of this work. And uh, definitely keep them in prayer. We just don't get the recordings from a lot of that um, it's hard enough for Brother Vladimir to get stuff up there. He's busy. He's got a family. He's got a, a full-time job as well. So the brother that posts videos, we just get him the content, uh, whatever venue it is, and he puts them up in increments in time. So keep him in prayer. Just thank God that we're able to continue to serve him, and may he give us more grace and a greater capacity to magnify the Lord. And so uh, you're a part of this work uh, through prayer and, and, and whatever support uh, God leads you to uh, support in Jesus' name.